Hi, Mac. How are you? You enjoy the two hour break? I'm listening to my own music today because this will be a short stream. You're still chilling outside? Nice. I wish I could chill outside. I've started listening to audiobooks, like just chilling in the backyard, but today it's, it's literally been pouring all day. I can't listen to my book. Hi, Kim. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I make for lunch um frozen fish burgers they had mahi mahi burgers at Trader Joe's and they've been sitting in the freezer for forever and I finally made it because like it's hard for me to justify like buying buns I don't I don't have bread much also face came out in three to one Oh, wait. Wrong scene. Wait, where is it? Right here. 
Did I? I usually rearrange my my scenes in OBS, but I forget. Me olvide. Pero está bien. Here, let's move them now. There. I almost did a real face reveal. Yeah, it's hard for me to justify giant buying buns, cause like we don't eat all late. Like my roommate has his own food. I just cook for my sister and I, and like I can't. I'm not supposed to have like regular bread. So it's like if I if I buy burgers. I have to like buy like healthy bread and then the white bread for my sister because she's picky which is valid wheat bread don't taste that good and like I can't have beef no more so I can't have no burgers and like I had a phase like three months ago where I, I literally would have one of those like fake bean burgers every day and then after a month I got sick of it like right okay it's like an ADHD thing but I don't have it I'm not gonna self-diagnose now my, my current food, like, phase is the pesto chicken. Like, I literally have it once every day. But I'm already kind of getting sick of it, and it's been three weeks. <laughs> I'm hitting the one-month peak. Turkey burgers are so good. I, I've had a few. I'm indifferent. Because, like, they're the closest you're going to get to beef. But they still have almost the same amount of uh, cholesterol and saturated fat. So, like, I can't have those either. If I want to have, like, a burger... And like not feel sad about it. I have to have like one of the fake bean ones. Or like a, the ones made out of like soy and shit. And like they're good. But they don't have the same bite. as like a real meat. You know I'm, I'm carnivore. And you know what I'm saying? Um, an artist. I slightly rearranged the... Oh wait the camera froze. Omega lol. Good thing I wasn't doing anything bad. I also watched back um, the first VOD from this morning. And I did not show butt. <laughs> okay, not my butt, just to clarify Twitch Def. Um, I checked the VOD. I did not accidentally show it, so we're in the clear. I, I showed, like, legs. It was not butt. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I saved. I almost lost my whole channel there, man. It, it could have been bad. I'm back. Yo, I'm live. <laughs> Damn. What? Well, okay. You guys realize if I let that slip, there'd be no peace in underscore 17 channel. You guys realize if one bozer reports like a small channel, Twitch just like takes it down. Like, I'm not even kidding. I've heard like anecdotal stories of like people getting like hate rated or like just one bozer reporting them and then they lose their channel. And since you're not in a partner channel or even smaller partners, if you lose your channel, it takes a long ass time to get it back. So, huge dub on my part for not leaking <laughs> and, like, having quick enough fingers to not scroll. Good thing we had the new mouse, because my old mouse would just keep scrolling. <laughs> so, W. <laughs> Dude, my life flashed before my eyes earlier <laughs> when that shit happened. Oh, my God. Like, that's why, like... For long term, I love streaming. Streaming is so much fun. But if I'm ever going to do, like, something, like, more risque, it would have to be, like, a pre-film bit. But, you know, I thought the BuzzFeed quizzes would be safe. Can you say it was for educational purposes? No. If you're doing, like, anatomy for education, it has to be, like, like anatomy illustrations, basically. Like, you can show art. Um... You can't draw the art, but, like, if there's a statue, like, the Statue of David, where, like, you see his pee, pee like, that's fine. Because that's, like, historical art. Or, I, I think you're allowed to show, like, anatomy drawings, like, the shit you see in, like, 8th grade science class. But, either way, it's not a good idea to skirt that line. You know, Ammo does it for us all the time. But she can take the smoke. I can't. <laughs> That's why, like, for anybody who's a small streamer, and I'm just saying this as a PSA Twitch staff, um, close your ears. If you ever leak something on stream, it's in your best interest to just end the stream, delete the VOD. Because more often than not, you probably don't have, like, crazy people live recording your streams. Like, let's be honest. If you're probably averaging, like, a thousand, yeah, you probably got one or two freaks recording your, your stream at all times. But if you're a five-year Andy... You delete the VOD, it never happened. Now chat. 
<laughs> Let's say I ever do leak something. We have to promise, pinky promise right now, that we do not talk about said leak if I ever leak something. I, you know, in my three years, I have yet to leak, which I think is pretty impressive. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, guys, you gotta be good. <laughs> you know, you can't be ruining this shit for me if you want me to stick around. But yeah, that's just a PSA to everybody. But I I'm usually pretty good. I always do incognito tabs. The only thing I leaked was my business email, but that's like public already, so... Like, it don't matter. Okay. Enough stalling, guys. Today I'm writing all my followers' names. Yes, I'm not lying. I'm gonna be writing all the followers' names from May of this past year. And the first two days of June. There's about 20 names. We had a good handful during this month. But let's see how it goes. I slightly changed the setup for this overlay. Um, PNG tubers here chatted too. Usually it's on the right side. But I, I think this is better. I don't know. I, I do have my ring light on my right side. It's usually straight ahead. But then you'd see the shadow from the tripod. Which you only see it here. So I moved the light a little bit. It's mainly because like I don't want to move shit around too much in my room. And like I'm scared of moving my camera. It's like genuinely very scary. Like what if I break it like I did last year? I would be very sad. But we do have my sister's camera that I can use. I've yet to test out her camera though. It's not that she won't let me touch it. I just don't want to like use it and then love it so much that I don't use this one anymore. Because I don't want her touching my good DSLR. Oh no. Okay, prediction time. I got about 20 names. Do you think I will mess up any of the names? I think I messed up a, lane, a name last month. Yeah, I ruined my like my four month streak. It's a good straight of voicemail. I'll give you guys two minutes to vote. Oh boy, what you do don't matter now. Oh yeah, I got my own headphones in. Okay, let us begin. Wait, you guys want to see the RGB? Yeah, look, we get some visual ASMR today for the RGB fans. So long. Mm -hmm. So, how you guys doing today, huh? You totally didn't see me earlier. Wait, the light turned off. Why did it turn? Oh, I thought. Okay, the cycle just reset. <laughs> I can't believe two hours went by so fast, no same. Like, it only took me like 15 minutes to cook up the bugs. Oh, I didn't eat a burger, because I had like a late breakfast. I'm gonna eat whenever this stream ends. I'll probably cook up another one. And then my sister and I just watched, um, like, animal photography videos. She's still really into cats. So we watched cat videos for like an hour. And when I say cat videos, I don't mean like meme videos. I mean like documentary type, like G National Geographic videos about cats. Okay, seriously, I turned on the lights. Why isn't the lights working? The lights turn off all the time. It's annoying me. Oh, I just realized it's Mariah Carey, but they swapped the letters. That's cute. Yeah. 
I told my sister if I ever have money, I'll just like let her go on a trip and just take pictures. Because the issue with traveling is like you want to document part of the trip, right? But you don't want to like live through your camera. So I think if you want to pursue like photography, like genuinely, you have to like set aside separate time just for that because otherwise you're gonna be thinking about like oh i can get this shot or i should go here because i can get some nice photos but you, if you're going on a trip you should focus on enjoying the trip because like even if you're doing it for hobby you don't want the hobby to take all your time And I told myself if I ever go on a trip, for one day I would hire a private photographer just to like follow us around for a day and take like candid pictures. I don't mind post pictures, but I think candids are like so much more human. You know what I mean? Because when I was with a previous partner, I literally only took three pictures of him and they're all candid. And same with him, he only, he's only had like two pictures of me and they're all candid. Candid are so much better, I know. I keep on getting recommended, like, wedding photography videos, which, whoa, like, what is my For You page doing? But they're just so pretty. Maybe it's like an old person hobby, but photography seems more and more interesting the older I get. I'm 25, by the way. I don't think this person's name is gonna fit. Yeah, ain't no way. Pro tip, do not make your username more than 10 characters, please. Okay, that's like perfect though, spectating. I commit three letters. It was spectating crescent. Am I late? Yes, but fashionably. Are you saying you look cute? Erm. Um, Hi, Vic. Can we get some yo's? V for Vic. Hello. This is technically the second stream of the day. Wait, Vic, you have to watch the first VOD from today. It was for the gays. Wait, how do you how do you say G in sign language? Oh, also, emotes are on screen for this scene now. Have fun. Wait, don't don't watch it now. <laughs> Sorry, watch it later. <laughs> don't leave. <laughs> I, I don't think it's a good stream strat to tell viewers to leave the moment they click.
For some reason, I keep on thinking today's Monday, and I'm like in my head convincing myself there's a new crumble cookie, but it's Sunday! My days are all off. I don't know why. Do you get emails from Crumble? No. The moment I sign up for like a new account for anything, I always turn off promotional emails. The only time I get an email is they're like, oh my god, you get a free cookie on your birthday. But I, I didn't even get it, because like, they didn't have any good flavors. But it, it annoys the shit out of me. Like, any type of promo email, I hate it so much. And like, when you click unsubscribe, sometimes it just doesn't work. They're really scamming. It should be illegal. Everyone's talking about Crumble recently. I gotta try it. You know, crumble is for the rich people. If you got a bag, try them all in one day. And I think some locations are offering like the catering sizes, so like the mini ones, but you have to order a day ahead. But that's not too bad. But I'll just say if you don't like a gooey, doughy cookie, you won't like crumble. But personally, I love a doughy cookie. But they have like all your daily sugar, all your daily cholesterol and saturated fat in like one serving. So if you're dieting, maybe don't. Also, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had crumble on stream a while ago. It was a few months ago at this point. And the, the worker, she gave me extra frosting. And I said on stream, if I go back again, I'll tip her 20 bucks. I haven't gone back to crumble since then. <laughs> and the reason why is because there's no good flavors. So it's not that I'm not holding to my word. It's just they they have shit flavors. They haven't had any good ones in a while. All I can say is don't meet your heroes. I'm an asshole. Nah, I try to be nice. Also, if you follow the channel right now, I'll write your name. Did you tell the worker that you would do that? No. But I did on stream and it's on my clips channel. So if if Peason ever gets famous, that'll bite me in the ass if I don't do it. But I still would do it anyway. She was super nice. Anytime I've gone in and she's been working, she was really nice. But also, money's gonna be tight this month. Because I'm no longer on disability. Like, my benefits ended today. And, like, the reason why money's gonna be short. Huh? Why? Oh, it's because... It was supposed to end in February, but they only processed the cancellation this month. So, you know, I got an extra three months of benefits because of it, but still. Minus 400 a month. Because if my application would have progressed further, I would have had to quit streaming or turn off monetization, essentially. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna give up the steam on this unless I absolutely fail. And that was a discussion I had with my agent. Because there are different avenues you can take. Like, if you are disabled and you are a business owner, like, you... In order for that to work, 
you have to work no more than 40 hours a month. You cannot make more than 1800 takeaway money, like for yourself. And also you have to like have a specific plan on what your work duties are day by day for the calendar month. So they're very strict about it. And since Twitch, YouTube is so, like it's harder to plan. And also like the income is not consistent. Like let's say there was a month where I made 20K. Somehow. Like I got, I got a huge sponsorship bag. The moment that happens, once you hit over the income threshold, you're disqualified. So, it's like kind of not- it's like, why am I holding myself back monetarily now? When I could make more if I really wanted to. That's so crazy. Yeah, different states have different thresholds. But, um, at this point, like, I need to be earning money. Like, passively, maybe working part-time somewhere in the upcoming months. Because, like, I, I think my sister is getting to a point where she probably can't work. Because, you know, having ASD is just a more difficult lived experience anyway. And some, like, 15% of those with ASD are able to maintain a part or full-time position. And my sister is one of them. She's very strong-willed in that way. But she can only do it for so long. Like, I can't expect her to take care of me for the next five years. So. I can't believe you only got them from here, and I got really lucky that it took only six months for them to initially process. I got very lucky. For some, it takes years. So you know what? I'm lucky I had a little bit of the pie. It was a hard decision, but it was something that both my sister and I decided would be the best for me. Because, like, even if I am able to sell paintings, like, even making, like, $200 extra a month, that's half a grocery. Even if I work part-time somewhere, that's something. Yeah, I I'm gonna look into, like, more companies that have, like, a better history with accommodation. I might look into, no, like, genuinely, I might look into, like, a librarian. Because, you know, I have a degree. I love reading to kids. They're so cute. Ow. I kicked my camera. Because my sister last year, um, because for my county, they had, like, substitute library positions. And I think it was, like, $20 an hour. And you only went in when they called you. And my sister was going to apply for that, but she didn't have a degree, so she couldn't. But I was like, maybe I could do that. But the problem is... <laughs> It's very hard to find the job listings for city jobs. Like, every time I go to, um, where I live and, like, the surrounding cities, like, the websites just don't work. <laughs> it's really frustrating. Like, you click on the hyperlink, and then it doesn't load. It's probably because, like, you know, we have shit <coughs> funding. So, makes sense that, like, the release party is going to be the website. But, you know, I think I could do, like, librarian. And that was one of, like, the... Like, my initial, like, top three jobs out of graduation. So I might look into that in the next few months. But... You can also ask in person? Yes, I've been considering that too. But it's, like, it's not my priority right now. Because, like, obviously I need to get my fucking teeth fixed figure out why I'm not getting a call back. And also, like, I, I need to... I'm still waiting to get more testing done for my brain to see if I need to get surgery this or next year, so, like, I need to... get that tackled. And then seek something. Because, like, I, I don't want to get a part-time position and be like, oh, yeah, I can't come in for the next two weeks. You know what I mean? Um... Because, like, I was supposed to get an MRI back in February. And they're still processing my referral. From February. It's been four months now. Because, like, I'm supposed to get MRIs every year. 
just to like see if my <laughs> if my brain sticks out more, if my spinal shit gets bigger. Like my the spinal cord cysts, the searing milia. I'm supposed to get them every year. But they're still not doing it. You go you gotta complain. I know. I know I do. I know I have to be a bitch about it. But like I I genuinely have so much like anxiety when talking on the phone. I don't know why. I don't know why. Have I tried following up? Yes, I've been calling once every month. I've been calling once every month for the MRIs. Because they said it takes two to three weeks to process. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna call back. You better make that every week. I know, I know, I know. But I have anxiety. I have anxiety. I'll do it. I'll call tomorrow. Promise? I'll promise. I'll promise. It- okay, it's because like, in my little brain, I have anxiety, right? So, for forever, my brain is like, you have to do things that are most important. So if something is not life-threatening, then my brain is like, okay, that's not priority. And also, like, if I don't see it, it's not priority. It's kind of like, if you have a scratch on your leg and your back, I would fix the scratch on my leg first because I see it. You have a big brain? Yeah, I'm smart. But then that also means, if I have a big brain, the neurons travel slower. That's why those with the big brain condition have like lower cognition over time. Because if your brain is bigger, the, the signals to have information travel from like different parts of your brain diminishes over time. So that's why I'm getting stupider. Not because of my internet usage. Mm -mm. There, there are some times where, like, I feel like I lean into my diagnosis, though. But I don't let it prevent me from, like, doing things that I generally need to do. But there's no need to worry. I'm fine. That's why it's always best if you know anybody who's disabled or has a chronic illness, ask the best ways in which to support them if they want it, and also vote and advocate for policies that will increase more government benefits, healthcare, and subsidies for those in need. Oh, yeah, this is spelled correct. This is B O T C H. They didn't want to put bitch in their name. I got very confused. I did not mess it. I did not mess it up. I'm gonna cross them up. What does that mean? Slash S R S. Oh, it's a basketball hoop? <laughs> you think you would know that reference? <laughs> what is really nice, though, is that in Washington State, they have a separate health insurance plan that is connected with United Healthcare, like one of the better national health insurance providers. And it's cool because it's eligible for those who are currently on Medicaid and are currently receiving um, government assistance 
for medical care. So, like, if you are an individual who needs, like, meal delivery through the government, if you're somebody who needs a caregiver, or somebody who needs, like, transportation through your local county. Like, I know in some counties they offer, like, transportation, like, a little shuttle bus for those who have, like, mobility aids or those who need somebody to drive them to appointments through the government. What is cool is that Washington State has a separate plan offer that is either free or a small premium to where individuals, like I said, who are on Medicaid, can switch from Medicaid to this premium program that could be free to where they get $100 to $200 in cash and food benefits, so like EBT. They also get free prescriptions. They get free transportation if they don't already have it. They potentially get free meals. So even if you received just one of those government assistant benefits, you can get all of them if you're under this new healthcare plan. They launched like a year ago. Someone at my job had a bus that we couldn't get them? Yeah. It's cool. I know a lot of regions offer that transportation service and it's honestly really impactful. Like, uh, when my grandpa... He had a stroke, so he lived a lot of his later years in life in a wheelchair or having to use a walker. He relied on those services. Uh, he lived in Hawaii. And in Hawaii, there were a lot of areas in town that didn't have good sidewalks. So he would really struggle to get around town. But thankfully, he was eligible for that service. But I could be eligible for those personal shuttle services if I had a mobility aid. I'm not eligible now because, like, I can still walk around. But if I ever get to a point where I would need a shuttle, I could get it. Because in order to get the shuttle service for my county, I think you either need, like, a, a very strong doctor's note or, like, a current SSDI benefits, like if you're currently on disability. Because like the thing that genuinely does like piss me off is like disabled people having access to public spaces. Yeah, there's the ADA, but there's been a few times where like I've ridden the bus and there's been, because on our county's buses, there's two seats for those who have like wheelchairs or um, mobility chairs. And then there's one spot for those with walkers or strollers, like a baby stroller. So there's been a few times where like all of those spaces are full and the driver has had to deny somebody access on the bus. And it's really unfortunate because more often than not, public transit is how a lot of disabled people get around. Because more often than not, they can't drive. Or maybe they don't have, like, a caretaker to take them to their appointments. So, if you are an individual or know somebody who could benefit from using a personal shuttle service, see if they can get enlisted in that. Setting up the wheelchair spots take forever? Not for ours. The On our buses, they either used to have, like, a... Like, imagine the seat is here. They used to have, like, a, a bar... Just so the person doesn't roll around. But now they have like little... Like... You know how when you put like a net over your car and on the end it has little hooks that you hook into the truck bed? Kind of like that. They have little hooks. So it takes like max like a minute. They But they only added those hook attachment things like... A year or two ago. So they're a fairly new... Mechanic, you could say. But the only unfortunate thing is that some buses do not have spots for disabled people. Like some of the buses like in Seattle, who are in King County, they have like buses that you have to like walk up three steps to get on. So somebody with a, a, a walker could get on if their walker folds up, but somebody in a wheelchair or a mobility chair would not be able to get on, which sucks. They have a strap and a wheelie system, they strap their chair to the floor. Oh, our buses used to have that? Only our older buses have that. Now they all have like little hooks.
I remember one time the driver took off and the pro person wasn't properly hooked in. That's so bad. That's genuinely horrible. Uh, <laughs> that's so bad. Um, but that, that... It's good they had a caretaker then. It's very expensive to have a caretaker though. But most states offer like reduced rates or even free rates for caretaker services. <laughs> and I'll be honest, the only reason why like I'm researching more about this and like resources and shit is, you know, I might need this. So while I'm like still cognizant, I want to try and educate myself as much as I can about resources. Because it, it is very hard to navigate and like, you know, I've worked with social workers and they're very nice. But when they have like hundreds of people on their caseload, they cannot give you the proper attention sometimes. Which is fine. But you have to know what to look out for when it comes to yourself. And when my sister was in the job assistance program, like, I went with her to most of the classes and stuff. And they, they taught you, like, how to find and apply for resources. So I have a pretty good baseline knowledge of, like, how to find stuff. I think we got like five or six names left. This is a lot of followers, my goodness. I guess May was a good month. Now, I assume this is like an alt account for Vora. Because we do have a ch chatter name, for Vinci with one eye. And it's funny, because this person made their account and followed me the same day. So I, I think this is Vora's alt. <laughs> or maybe they lost their login. <laughs> Wait, I posted my weekly stream schedule on my Twitch story earlier. I'm not gonna narc, you gotta look at my story yourself. Mm -hmm.
Also, Mac, if you're still in chat, can you leak what some of the games you were planning on for that dock? Because I have like 10 that I've just bought over the past few months that I need to play at some point. Getting a blister. Wait, gas station simulator? The one that Queso's been playing? Okay, cool. I think I I bought a farming sim one, I think. I'll have to look at my archive. Because, like, usually I'll wishlist games, and when they're on sale, I buy them. I, I rarely buy a game at full price anymore. You don't think it's the Queso one? God damn it. And probably because it's PC only. Yeah, I know truck driving sim is a classic, but I told myself I'm only doing truck driving sim whenever I have a wheel set up. So whenever I get confident confident enough to like show my ass on stream, like just sitting, then we'll do it. waste up yeah I know I'm just kidding whenever whenever I say like ass on camera I'm like joking <laughs> yeah and have a shoe cam of course you'd want that no I am planning on doing a wait have I leaked this oh yeah it did say I'm gonna do like a cycle subathon in September and it's not that like I'm self-conscious <laughs> I'm just scared like, you guys can't misbehave, okay? Because, <laughs> like, I'm thinking about, like, how I'm going to set that stream up. Obviously, it's going to be green screen. And I think I want people to be able to, like, change to the background with channel points. That way I can, like, do, like, make a beach or a field or a cityscape. Okay, that's the only line I know from that song. Also, final two names! The final two. Get ready to spam you right here. Okay, this next name is kind of sus, but the Twitch account is very old. So I know it's not like a troll account. Nobody say anything when I write this name, okay? I keep on... Oh, that was bad. <clears throat> Take me back to yesterday when I was wrapped around your finger, wrapped around your finger.
the final name of the day. the Q U fuck I know that wasn't looking right it's young Scordy I forgot the U we're not done god damn it how did I not notice that earlier okay prediction did I mess up names yes I did it's too good to be true dang I thought stream was over god man I'm sorry believers god damn it You know, I could have gotten away with it, but you guys didn't say shit. Well, I guess my streak of messing up names is now greater than my streak of having no mess ups. God damn it. Back to work. Guys, you know what would make me feel better? If I got some prime subs today. Just kidding. <laughs> I will, okay, I will jokingly farm all the time. And I think it's going to get to a point where people may think I'm doing it on purpose. I'm not. I just think it's funny. Okay, I'm going to speedrun. Of course, I have to write the sus name again. Yeah, this music compilation is called Funky Nintendo Video Game Music to Fill Your Big, Dumb, Empty Head. 
Yeah, get ready to spam me over right here. I will not mess this up. <laughs> and it is done. All the followers from the month of May and the first day of June. Let's see how many followers I actually got. I got more than I anticipated. Let's see. I got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Oh my god, I got 24? Dang boom. But then that also means 5 people unfollowed. Fuck you if you unfollow the channel. Okay? Feel free to screenshot if you see your name. We hate the people who unfollow. <laughs> Yeah, why would you follow the peace and underscore 17 channel? Or, I mean, unfollow. Guys, follow right now. all our followers in the, May, in the month of May. Thank you to everybody who did follow, and if you monetarily supported the channel, thank you as well. We appreciate the subs and bits. Okay. I'm gonna wrap here. I'm gonna wrap stream here for today. Man, I'm already jumbling my words. It's only 3 p.m. God damn it. I'm telling you, I crash at 2. Okay. If anybody wants the name written, subscribe or use your channel points right now. You guys have one minute. Because we're almost at an hour uptime. What if we end at exactly an hour? That could go crazy. Be well, thank you. I will. Okay, thank you for redeeming, Mike. Guys, we're not doing an hour uptime stream. It's all Max fault. If I'm going to die for you, if I'm going to kill for you, then I'll spill this blood for you. I remember Crystal told me to sing this song on stream. Why would you choose Poopy Brown? You always choose brown. You know what? Screw Kim. I'm running an ad. Because I have to run an ad, an ad at an hour uptime. So... If you want to avoid the ad, subscribe for 4 99 or for free. Show your monthly pride by subbing for free with Prime, everybody. Wait, what was the artist called earlier? Little Mix? <laughs> I'm drinking a coffee, so I was like, LOL Brown. <laughs> I'm gonna die for you. If I'm gonna kill for you, then I'll spill this blood for you. Get a little mix. I got it. Got 16 million subs on YouTube.
Wait, they sound so much like Fifth Harmony. I'm listening to Shout Out to My Ex. Wait, maybe I like them. The fandoms hated each other? <laughs> That's hilarious. Didn't they all get pregnant at the same time? No, that's what, like, white women do. They love having kids at the same time so the kids can grow up and become friends, even though the kids, like, hate each other. Okay, I don't like the chorus for the song. I don't like it. Okay, I like the first verse a lot better than the chorus. The chorus is kind of dumb. It sounds like too upbeat and uplifting. That's gonna be Chet getting pregnant at the same time? I thought we were an anti-child chat room. Nah, if you want kids, have them. Just know the... the whole impact of what you're doing. You know, I said I hate brown, but this pen is basically new because I never use it. Look how clean it is compared to the gold. I ideally want kids. Cute. Kim and Mac, don't fight. Please don't fight. <laughs> Please. Mom and dad are fighting. We're joking? <laughs> I never know what, what is a joke with you guys. You do like RP all the time? I don't know. And sometimes you guys are like in your own little world. We don't fight often. You know what I read? If you never fight, that's bad because you're not competing, c communicating enough. And if you fight all the time, that's bad because you are commuting in an ineffective way too much. But if there's fights occasionally, then it's fine. As long as there is a respectable resolution to said fight and it doesn't stick with you, like if you have a fight, and then at your next fight, you bring up the past fight? That's toxic. So, uh, there's like, it's, with, as with everything, as long as something is not excessive, it's usually fine. I think it's healthy discussions. <laughs> I call it that too. You know, me and your mother fight all the time. That's good. As long as you guys, like, are mindful of each other's feelings. That's- that's the biggest thing in a fight. Like... I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever gotten, like, a fight fight in the previous relationship. Because we were both the type to, like, not yell. We both weren't, weren't like, violent types. So, like... It was more... The times were, like... We almost fought were times where we were almost having like where one individual's having like almost a meltdown and the other person didn't like know it was a meltdown. We thought they were just like getting mad at the other person. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I don't know guys, I scored 105 on the RADS test. <laughs> I joke about that shit all the time because it's how I go. I don't know if my insurance would approve a ASD screening. They might. I don't know. I'm debating. Okay, thoughts on Little Mix? I think they're aight.
Like, if, if they came in my recommended music, I would be like, okay, this is lit. But I don't think I would, like, seek them out. Also, Hin has a new song called Glowing Light, and it's really pretty. Guys, you know what else is pretty? My new YouTube video. Click the link. Go watch it now. I learned how to drive in-game. It's an edit from the birthday stream. Go watch it if you haven't already. Um, I posted my weekly stream schedule on my Twitch story, so click it. Go see what we're doing this week. But tomorrow, Super Paper Mario. I didn't play it last week. We gotta get through it. I gotta beat it. That's the plan for tomorrow. It'll probably be like 10 or 11 normal stream time tomorrow. That is the plan. Thank you for watching. If you watched both streams today, thank you. If you watched this one, thank you. I hope you had fun. Happy Pro! Goodbye. Bye, Meg. Okay, final minute. Do you guys have any final words? Bye, Kim. Seriously, thank you to everybody who watches the streams live. It's always fun hanging out with everybody. Makes me feel good. Okay. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow.